WP Network, giving truthful and accurate news for the people and the country. This is WP Network giving you news first hand. And the headlines. Trump, it's a disgrace. Marcos, buried at the Divina ng mga bayani. The Lima files a petition against the third place. just showcases talent, creativity, and education week. KMP Chief Batos Masco brings cops closer to kids. President-elect Donald Trump threw haymakers at CNN and BuzzFeed during the long-awaited news conference that was conducted last January 11th. Hit the said outlets by referring to them as garbage and fake news. Trump stated that CNN got the wrong Michael Cohen on the news that they featured on their article that was said to have left the country and went to pray. Jim Acosta, the senior White House correspondent for CNN, asked for a chance to ask him, but Trump refused. Acosta asked several more times, but Trump kept on shutting him off by telling him not to be rude, and he repeated that he isn't going to give the network a chance before they are fake news. Former President Ferdinand Marcos was buried at the Libingan ng mga bayanis with full military honors past noon on November 18, giving closure to his family and the Marcos loyalists, but it responded to wounds imposed by his 21-year rule marked by human rights atrocities. PNP Chief De La Rosa said that the police were only informed about the final schedule of the burial on Thursday night. Palace spokesperson said they didn't know about the burial which was carried out while President Rodrigo Duterte was abroad to attend the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Leaders Meeting in Peru. While Marcos loyalists celebrated his burial, several anti-Marcos protests were staged across Metro Manila and on other parts of the country on Friday night. The rally organizers planned to continue protesting until on November 30, Bonifacio Day. WP Network will be right back after the break. and women leaders, the Lima launched a 26-page petition for a Davabia's data against President Rodrigo Duterte. The Lima's test case came after the incessant attacks of President Duterte and his allies against the senator. They had linked her, a former Justice Secretary, to the proliferation of illegal drugs in the National Penitentiary. The issue became the subject of marathon hearings in the House of Representatives. And now for the next news, Drexic de Landuja reporting. Students from different year levels of Agusan National High School celebrated Education Week by showcasing their talent and creativity in connection with the world of literature. The activities were headed and facilitated by the teachers from the English language department. The contests such as spelling bee, poster making, quiz bow, essay, slogan making, jazz chant, storytelling, character impersonation, and Mr. and Miss Communication. Where Chanel McLeod of Section Ineos and Jubia Plaza of Section Sun were declared as winners, who said to have received 
a certificate and a cash prize from the English department. Back to you, Charlo. Thank you, Drexy. And now, here's Gwyneth Margate reporting. Police Officer Juan Bato, the new police mascot in full uniform, visits schools and communities to bring the police closer to the people. The mascot was named after PNP Chief Director General Ronald De La Rosa, who is called Bato due to his physique and his residence in Barangay Bato in Davao City. PO Juan Bato was introduced to the public during the 24th anniversary of the PCRG, although the mascot was made to look like PNP Chief De La Rosa. The man behind it is, is actually PO2 Lawrence John Fernandez. Senior Superintendent Gilbert Cruz said PO1 Bato was designed to make the community, especially children, love and not fear the police. That is all, all the news for today. today. This is Cheryl Humalon and Aidan Lopez from, from WP, WP Network saying God, God bless us all and advance Happy Valentine's Day. Day.